I appreciate. I have deepened. I've deep. I have. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> I'm a natural. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it without you. Yes, very good. <laughs> yes, that's it. Next one too. I learned. My effort. Would you look at that? I thought I heard someone. Are you here to train? Care to train with me? Waving the sword around alone is boring. And I'm tired of crossing swords with worthless opponents. But you seem like a worthy adversary. I've always been interested in your technique. You learned from the former captain of the Knights of Seros and traveled Fodlin fighting as a mercenary. Good sparring partners like you don't grow on trees. But know that I will beat you, and I will surpass your strength. Why? Hmm. I never really thought about that. I learned to thrust a sword before I learned to write my name. Of course, my upbringing wasn't unique. That's how it is for all children in my country. You're no use if you can't swing a sword, however mighty your crest may be. It was the perfect environment for me. I could live free of stodgy values and virtues. Grow strong so you may live, and live to grow stronger. That's what I was taught. Why should I? Nothing's as important as the pursuit of strength. But that's enough idle chatter. Take out your sword. My mind is emptied of all but the thrill of the challenge. <sighs> that's the third time this month. Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, Professor. Hello. Did you need something? Well, um, that is, I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You'd do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind, or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. Does that surprise you? Perhaps it seems ill-befitting someone of noble birth to care about such things. Despite my family's nobility, we have never been particularly wealthy. 
So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. Yes, he's a good person. Even when managing our territory used up most of our family's resources, he still went out of his way to ensure my comfort. Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? I hope Sylvain and Felix aren't getting into trouble as they tend to do. Oh, well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. Am I doing all right? I hope I'm not too off. Singing in tune with others proved quite difficult. Did you want something? I see. If you have the time, then please assist me. I am to water the flowers in the greenhouse. Thank you. Only do not water the ones in that corner. They are from Dusker. They require a dry environment. The roots will rot otherwise. Yes, they are. I owe you a debt of gratitude. In both the extracurricular activities here at the Academy and on the battlefield, your presence has been instrumental in the defense of His Highness. You have my sincerest thanks. I see. Was there something else you wanted? Then please, excuse me. My darkest fear is that I wish. See if you can work it. This is proof enough that the bond we forged on. That's a little dramatic, but you're not wrong. That worked out well. It's all coming together. It all makes sense now. I'm looking sharp, huh? I'm a well-oiled machine! All that studying has paid dividends. I'm getting the hang of this. Ah, it's you. Where I'm going is hardly your business. Do me a favor and mind your own, won't you? <laughs> Ever the professor, aren't you? So, what's your deal? Worried about my well-being? <laughs> That's adorable. 
I get the sense you're not so hot at assessing people. Just giving you a hard time. Either way, it doesn't matter much to me. There's no slowing me down tonight. I've got important things to attend to right now. There you go with that nose of yours. It still isn't your business. But it looks like you won't let me leave until I tell you. You'll get your way this time. There's a dispute. Or maybe treachery is the more fitting word. Regardless, a purge is required. I see I've got to spell it all out for you. One of my goons double-crossed the gang. He absconded with his boss's small fortune, my small fortune, and buddied up with another gang. Members of the gang are recognizable by their scorpion tattoos. Suffice it to say, they're not a group you want to tangle with. Despite that, I'm not about to just roll over and play dead on this. So I figured I'd pay them a little visit, have a spot of tea with their boss. Makes sense, you know. <laughs> As a former mercenary, I knew you'd get it. You know how things are done in our world. I play my cards wisely. I wouldn't play if there wasn't any hope of winning. It won't be. One false move, and the walls will be painted with blood. Still sound fun? Better head off now. I've got people waiting for me just outside of town. See you around. What is it you're after? Money? Me? Or are you just looking for someone to kill? You seem adamant, so I'll allow it. Won't hurt to have backup if things go south. I trust you, for now, but I don't know how reliable you actually are. Just so we're clear, you mess with any of my people, I'll slit your throat without hesitation. Got that? Good results. Easy. It's all thanks to hard work.
That was a breeze. Was there ever any doubt? Easy peasy. It's all coming together. It's all becoming clearer. Thank you so much. Professor, I just got word from the Knights that the last of the thieves have been cornered. Just as planned. They're in Xanado, the Red Canyon. We certainly can't allow those underhanded thieves to get away. Let's work together and do our best to take them down. It matters not who we're up against. They will not harm His Highness. <laughs> we're just fighting common thieves, right? I don't expect much of a challenge. Aren't you a spoil sport? I'm actually quite excited myself. Who knows? There may even be some cute lady thieves. Hmm. Well, at any rate, a real battle is a great opportunity for us to see how far we've come. True. The mock battle was a success. We'll be fine so long as we stay the course. Perhaps we are a bit overly excited, but remember that we have the knights on our side. All should be well. Ah, and speaking of the knights, I heard that Gerald is once again one of the knights of Seros. Perhaps we'll have the good fortune of seeing you two fight side by side. Oh, of course. I apologize for letting my childish whims get the better of me. In all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. They... they died. Both of them. I'm all that remains of them now. Anyhow, I'm sorry to bore you with such things. I'd say it's nearly time for us to depart, eh, Professor? So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I 
shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. Canyon. This is the first time I have ever been here. It's like walking through a ruin. Let's get this battle out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! According to our information, there is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. If we advance cleverly, we attack from both sides and gain the advantage. I'll leave the rest to you, Professor. But before all else, we'll need to cross the bridge. Stay focused. Ready. Here we go! Here goes. I'll go. I'll cut through. What should I do? I'll give it my all. I'm on it. could use some polish. I can't relax here. We need to prepare for our next battle. Goddess blesses them to rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Who's one? Ha! 
I had no choice. I did it! See? I'm a great fighter. I must steal myself. If I'd hesitated, that, that would have been me. We stole this trick. Let's think carefully. Whoops. Oh, thanks. Had to be done. Not good enough. This worked out well. Still whole and sound, I hope. Be so pleased. <laughs> Seems I prevailed. never had a chance. I know they are just thieves, but this never gets easier for me. <laughs> Should I have held back? Such power dwells within. <laughs> You're weak. Finished off.
up. Ready. I will get stronger still. You saved me. Another win. I have improved. from before? So what now, your pals with the knights? Uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats! Estimate me. Die for me! Listen to that idiot. What a mistake. Another step forward. We have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the knight's instructions for what to do next. You let us well, Professor.
It is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Very odd. I wonder if somehow my memories have... Hmm... I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and this strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow. Pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor? We should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case... You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. You think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. We're finally back. I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh. Edelgard. Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. Hmm. <laughs> now that's a lark. I had no idea you had a sense of humor, Professor. I'll tell you all about it. Some other time. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Hmm. 
Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanadil was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> Part One White Clouds Garland Moon Mutiny in the Mist When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrastia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers.